hear Susie working over there. She's got a little project she's working on, and I've got something I need for her to make for me. I'll tell you about it in just a second. Thanks for watching. Well, I've been looking forward to the day to finally releasing a band tour video. I've watched a lot of others on YouTube, and uh, I've sort of been dreaming about ideas, what I want it to look like, and I'm really happy how it turned out, especially the long one. We actually went out to the refuge and filmed it, and uh, got back home, and I just went, this is too long, I'm not going to use it. And so we came out and filmed it again out here and did the short one. And then I went back and looked at it. I go, I can get this down. So I got it down to 25 minutes. And um, people are watching it because I got over 500 views very quickly. So uh, and some getting some nice questions and some nice comments. And so um, kind of glad to get to that point. Um, we have a, a couple little things that um, we're doing. Of course, the tweaking will go on for a little while. And I'll show you something I want to do back in my battery box power area. I'll show you that in a second. And we'll see what Susie's up to. I think she's working on the some kind of shelving thing on the back uh, past the bunk windows. And uh, so I'll show you that. And then um, let me back the camera uh, a little bit and I'll show you uh, our moonshade. I know people are concerned about the cost and all that. And I, I think I've shared most of that information that you need. Um, but we did buy some things like most all the construction materials and... Uh, there's more than people realize. I think it, uh, I figured it now. It probably adds up to about eight thousand altogether that we spent. Uh, this is one of those items. It's a, a moon shade, and um, they are not one of my partners. Uh, they did give me a little discount, but they weren't interested in doing this, and you know that's okay. So we got it out, and we have found that because of the curves and the way the roof rack works, we can't really use the suction cups really well. There's just not many places because we can't get far enough out, up on. Um, a flat area on the roof and so uh, I'm getting ready to run to Home Depot and just get some hooks that we're going to put in three places along the deck and have places to snap on so that'll work. Um, I personally think it's overpriced but it is well made and it's really handy and so it really covers a big section here and then we're going to uh, figure out how to take the narrow end and take it, use it on the back as well and then Susie has a screen to make. Um, so let me show you what she's working on and what, what else I need to do here. And um, we'll see what's, what I have up next. My dear wife is out here trying to get something square. Looks like she's already gotten something going here. So what's happening here real quick? Something can look really off and it can be square. Yeah. And something can be square and it looks really off. <laughs> and nothing square in the band anyway. True. So what's, what do you got going here? I'm making a little cabinet to put in the back, and I'm envisioning it holding our pajamas and our toothbrush and stuff like that. So it's going to have shelves? Yeah. Shelf here, shelf here. I'm going to make two of these, supposedly. So I see you've done some routing here yes, and here. You just, you're just, you love that router, don't you? I'm going to put something, you'll have to wait and see what I'm <laughs> holding up. Okay. The front of the shelf. Alrighty. That'll be a nice little addition. And that's about all we're probably going to put on the walls because we want to still keep it, as you said in the tour, light and airy. It's going to be beautiful. It will be beautiful, of course. You probably hear Susie back there standing. She's just not to be stopped. Um, so one little thing I want Susie to do for me is uh, back here, and I'll use the GoPro to show it better, but I've got my, um, one of my EcoFlow batteries. Typically it would be a Delta, which is the bigger one. And um, a little concerned that if we have to do a big swerve, I, I think we could put, we're going to put something, I was going to, at first I thought a little ledge to hold it, but I now think I want to drop in a piece of wood right here so that if we have a big stop or a swerve, it'll go, the batter, whatever battery is here will go against that wall because I just had this thought of it crashing into this fuse panel here and uh, just messing up the wires. So... Uh, that's all this box is for, is holding the battery and having all the wires. So let me show you that. So we'll just take a little look in here. And you can see I've got my box. And this delta just fits in here. And then there's the fuse block I've shown you many times. And I've got some empty space here, but I, it's kind of a collection of wires because I've got both my solar wires coming in here and the... Um, uh, plugs for the uh, regular outlet or coming into the Delta so um, I just think it'd be best to have a wall right in here across here 
and maybe all the way up to, I'd say right, right about there would be good. Just have it across, kind of slide it in, and um, I think that th will make it a, a bit safer. Just think about little things that could happen. That'll be a, a good addition for safety. Okay, so you just got back from the Home Depot, and uh, what well, you originally going to use slots up there in the flatline roof rack? Yes. With the Velcro, but um, I can make it even more what waterproof uh, if I put it up here on the board. If I bring it all the way up here. Right. So I'm up here with my lovely wife, and they've got three places to connect the moonshade, and they sent these uh, suction mounts. They don't work. They have magnetic mounts that cost 30 bucks, and we don't need to do that. So you're going to use their strap. Show them that. And these are Velcro straps, but instead you're going to... I'm just going to get some paracord, and I'll tie this loop. I'll screw yeah. that down to that, and that'll be more secure than anything I can think of. And right. it'll be fast. We can just climb up here yep. and tie it. So she just bought these and painted them because I wanted them to look nice. And so that's going to be... Will climb, you'll climb up I'll here. I'll climb up time. here. And... <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? That's me. So... I'll be glad to, my dear. Absolutely. If it's lightning, I'll be up of here for course. you. Okay. So. It's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so that'll be a nice solution, and uh, this will work out really well. And then we'll figure out something to do the same back here. So she'll get it figured out, won't you? Yeah. Alrighty. Good job. Thank you. So we need to go downstairs and find some paracord. But yeah, we'll use beefier. Yeah, this is just to show what we're doing. Are you, are you done doing the selfie thing here now? What's going on? Anyway. Okay. Oh, hi. Um, so I think it's going to work out well. I know I complain it's overpriced, but it's well made and it's handy. And this will work great. We, and we, like I said, we liked our ARB awning. I just did not want to have it. And I, that was going to be a long way for it to come down. And these um, poles can go up a whole lot higher. But I think we would do it like this in case it was light rain. Yeah. Yeah. So. Is that loops? Yeah. You can hang things from it. Right. Ooh. Well, what and we then some people. Well, some people they put LED lights, string lights. Ooh. There we go. So, we'll have to check that out. All right. Good job. Well, there's just a little update about the tweaks that we're working on, and um, that's kind of what I'll be doing for a while. And then, um, as I mentioned before, we have a trip uh, coming up, first week of June to Denver, and then back. Um, to Illinois to a runaway rally and um, I'm sure we'll find a few things we want to fix but again we want to keep this as open as possible so there won't be a million things left to do. Thanks for watching.